All right, so we're going to try this one more time. I think I got a few things figured out. How's everybody doing? I'm Jason Ward, Major Taylor Cycling Club, Chicago. And uh, going to try to get an hour's worth of ride in tonight. Um, we have group rides seven days a week. There's 11 or 12 rides every week now. Monday through Friday every morning, Saturday and Sunday every morning. Well, seven days a week every morning. This is going to get awkward and weird. I'm not good at this stuff. So get that out of the way. So Monday, every day, seven days a week. Um, I just can't get this out. Uh, we have a ride. And then in the evenings, it's Monday through Thursday. So uh, we got Irvin and Will. Let's see if I can... Uh, Get into the chat here. Wish everyone good evening. You know, folks could really be doing anything right now. They could be watching TV. They could not be exercising. They could be pretty much doing anything. So it's really nice folks are coming out. There's 15 people in here right now. We've got uh, got John, Chuck, Cass, OG, Kevin, Irvin, Will, Brenda, Shaka, Ed Dixon, Sean, Terry, Stacy, Mulabo. That's an all-star cast right here. Just 28 seconds just to get going and get my beverage. Just a carbonated water. At some point I gotta turn this fan on. It's gonna get loud. So four seconds. I'm already pedaling. So when we head out, look at all those jerseys. Look at them. Look at all that red and black. So I'll work my way up as much as I can just so people can see the beacon. There's a lot of people out here. Zwift is blowing up right now. Zwift is going absolutely insane. I've been getting questions daily about trainers, what trainer to get. I'm no expert. You know, you'd really want to check with uh, your local bike shop to figure out what best suits you. Budget dictates everything. All right. This is the part where we got to turn on the fan. An 8% climb coming right out of this ride. Chose this ride. Again, this ride is just for an hour. We'll pedal, hang out, take some pictures. Once this thins out out on the road, virtually, you'll kind of see all of our names grouped back together. So if you see me looking back and forth, I have my Zwift game is right there to my left on a monitor. And to the right is Facebook Live and my streaming software. First 10, 15 minutes for me is just the it's just the paddle. Keith is in here. Keith Powers, what's up? Just to warm up the legs. Yesterday, pretty much just spun my legs to get them going. Today, I'll 
put a little more effort in. I got a stage one ride I got to make up. That's going to hurt. So I'm going to save my legs a little bit for that. This is about hanging out with the group. The crew. You can see it's starting to come together now. All those green names. All the names in the green on the right means our, that's our group. <laughs> yeah, Chuck, it is our shower traffic. It's crazy. Zwift is blowing up. At some point, they're going to have some issues with servers and capacity. So far, they've done a really good job. If you're watching this and think it's supposed to be entertaining, it's not. It's literally me riding a bike indoors with my club. That's the gist. I just want to show people what's up. Show people what we're doing. It's been a great response to it so far. A lot of encouraging words. A lot of people want to get connected. You know, a lot of people got a lot of questions, especially since. Well, I, I don't know how else to say it, but the cycling season is closed indefinitely. Um, with what's going on right now? It's not even encouraging, we're not even encouraging people to go ride by themselves. If you get hurt, where are you going to end up? You're going to end up the last place you want to be right now. In a hospital, doctor's office. But this video is about society. So we're going to keep it that way. I am looking at the chat and Facebook Live. I'm also looking at Discord if you have questions. If you just want to stop on and say, hey. It's all good. And then right here, right here is my companion app. So this lets me see the map. I can message a group, all that good stuff. Send some right ons. Believe it or not, there's a lot going on right here. A whole lot. We're coming together. Change the view up a little bit. There's Terry on the S Works as he passes me. An orange S Works, like that kid. Picture, save that for later. Again, this rush hour track is crazy out here. People busy. Netflix. There's all that green. Look at it. There it is. Almost a full page. Uh, 
the noise. It's a lot of noise in my mic. Yep, it's from the wind. So, not to make excuses, I have a mic, but it's not compatible with my current situation. I ordered the stuff, the correct cables. Let's see how it works out. Another climb, another eight percent. about 16 people yesterday so on the subject of bike trainers the topic came up again today I can only say what I, I can only talk about what I've used primarily I've used two trainers it's now called the Saris fluid trainer it's about 250 bucks it was a great trainer Use it for years, I ended up selling it. I had a good time with it. Put a lot of miles on it. I used it for maybe three years. It was a little loud and a lot. There is a new version. When I bought it, it was the Cyclops. Blew a trainer for Saris, apparently bought them out. I was upgraded under Saris. And it's a newer model, I suppose. So, 250 bucks. It's a really nice trainer. You can get trainers from $28 from Aldi to $1,400. I think it's the most expensive one. $1,200 or $1,400. I think the Tax, um, the Tax Neo, don't get me to lying. Again, I'll stick to what I know. Blue two trainers by Sarah's. Had one of those. They worked really well. There's all that green. I'll screenshot that. That's kind of a first. It's a big deal. We average five, six, seven riders per ride. This week it's been double. So the Fluid Two Trainer is a wheel on trainer. It's not a super trainer. If you're riding on foot, it's not going to adjust any kind of difficulty. You ride. If you change gears, you can make it easier or harder on yourself. But you have to use a separate speed sensor or a power meter on your bike to use that type of training. Another eight to seven percent on oh, this up. <laughs> All right, eleven minutes. It's not bulky, it's actually pretty compact. You don't have to plug it in. I wouldn't say you can travel. My trainer difficulty is set to 10. So, I'm feeling this. That's kind of my go to when people ask. Usually, people have a budget somewhere around $250 for a trainer, $300. I steer them towards that. I have a friend. She'll tell you not only should you get the fluid, but there's an upgrade, $300 or $350, that turns it into a smart train. Don't know anything about that. That's a Sarah's thing, you can look it up, Google it. 
get all that good information in Google. for that one. The one I'm writing, I had a, the one I'm writing is the one I started with next. After that trainer, I had a generation one Wahoo kicker. It was a thousand-ish dollars. And it was nice. It was huge. And I was kicking. It was huge. It was a big upgrade. A lot of money. A lot of miles on that. Sold it to go in Christmas. He's got it now. He's making good use out of it. Love that trainer. We did a lot together. Holy cow. Basically, the power meter was built into it, so the game extrapolated speed from that. Alright, so this is the part where it gets a little more weird offer. 15 minutes, I'm going to put a little bit heavier effort down, so the jabbering is going to get a little bit disconnected. do my best to hold it between 200 and 250 watts for at least a good 30 minutes and then kind of back back down before we end the ride. Look at all those jerseys. Look at that. When you hit level 12, that's what you get. Irvin, Irvin said today to somebody else, it's how you earn your stripes. I think he said something like, you gotta get 500 miles to get that jersey. You gotta ride 500 miles on foot. That's a lot of miles. Everybody with that jersey on did it. Most. So my Gen 1 Wahoo picker had a lot of fun. Got on Swift right away. Loved it. You go up the line. You have to change gears. You go down a hill, you got to change gears. I'm not doing a lot of changing gears right now. I'm doing more talking and not paying attention. Should be riding. Here we go. In order to maintain that wattage to 200 to 250, I have to change gears to get to it. See if we can hold it about here. So a year or two ago, I got the uh, Gen, I don't know what it is, the 2018 kicker. Why did I switch? One reason. I wanted to use a kicker climb. Kicker climb is not compatible. Gen 1 kicker. So I got a, I got a, I got the 2018 kicker, and I bought the climb later. And it works together as a package. It's been weeks since I've used my climb. Now I can turn it on. Just drop a little bit. It'll go up and down. Back up. The 2018 is quieter for sure. Not significantly, but it is. The 
Bluetooth seems to uh, connect a little bit faster. Other than that, not a lot of difference. If you ever rode a smart train, you'll get hooked. You'll want one of, you don't want to ride anything else. It actually immerses you into the game more. It immerses you into the game. It makes it entertaining and enjoyable. Got to remind people to drink. I drink myself. People in the club page have owned a lot of different trainers. They can tell you all about them. Hey, there's Will. Where'd you go, Will? Let's see if I can catch Will. Come on. Where'd he go? There he is. My max heart rate is one ninety four. At one sixty one I'm working. Now, I'm actually trying to put down a little bit of power, but, as I've said before, I can easily slow it down, drop my power, drop my cadence, I won't fall off the back. 
I may drift towards the back, but I won't pop off. I won't be dropped. Look at all that green. Look at all those red and white green, uh, red and black jerseys. Kevin. Nice little scoop right there. John, Keith, and myself. Cash just passed me up. Sean White, right there. Cash is on his candy down. There. Taking a few pictures for later. Little ride and a little big thing. A little too much going on here for me to concentrate and keep my power in a certain range. Way too much. minutes into an hour long ride. This is it. Now there's a sprint. Just started. Just began. We're in a group. And that rubber band isn't going to let you sprint for real. It'll hold you back. Runners not that long ago. So you see those guys over there. It's weird. If you do the jungle course in Watopia, you'll see dinosaurs. You'll see bears climbing trees and falling. It's silly, silly stuff. Some of the developers had some fun. Testament to what we've been doing. There's OG. Gotta get, gotta get a pick with OG. He's right on my, right on my wheel. That's right. Where'd you go, OG? Anyway, Years.
голову. And don't forget to drink Chuck's says coffee. As I ride, my drink of choice has become this is carbonated water, bubbly. It's got a hint of grapefruit to it. That's my go to now. I just need something with a little bit of flavor. Drink a lot of water. Otherwise, I keep a bottle of water. 
finish that cam I gave it a ride while I'm pulling down and stretching I'll drink the rest of the water I don't drink enough water not even close I fight for daily six days a week at least Ton of air noise. Oh well. Maybe next time. Whew. More of a safe corner. When you ride a smart trainer, this is how it feels. You can see my cadence, heart rate, and power will change. At the end of the day, Zwift is a video game. Definitely. There's levels, achievements, challenges, controller. You gain XP, experience points. The controller is a bike. You gotta pedal it. You get points, experience points. Going on counter side. Ooh, ten percent. That was up. I gotta stand for a second.
Frank Wilson says, what's up? Just responded to him real quick in Swift. Try something, I'm curious. Alright, that works. Set myself out. I'm not doing anything special, there's no reason to see me. But there is a reason to see the overlay. Five more minutes, four more minutes, and I'm just bringing it all back down. Let's see if I can, see if I can hold 300 plus for four minutes. It's not that long.
Was that 181? 182 a minute ago. Down to 157. I'm still doing decent wattage. So you can mix in whatever kind of workout you want to do your own intervals. You can mix in whatever you want. So in these rides, you can show up, you ride, you can spin your legs, you can do intervals, whatever you want. If you got a workout for 30 minutes or an hour that you want to partake in, warm up for 15, 10, 15, 5, whatever. Put in some work, do a little cool down. Private workout inside the, the group ride. <clears throat> it works really, really well. Great. Nice and low. Almost fully recovered. Weather changes to the game. Turn your rain, fall, night, day, sunny, completely overcast. So when my heart rate gets down into the 130s, that's recovery for me. Somewhere right about here, mid to 130s. I could take off from here and do another hard out. Just got another 30 points. Every whole mile, you get points, XP points, make you up. And I'm just hanging out for a ride now. Really, just do your own thing. I'm getting tired of seeing myself on this screen, to be honest. So, oof. nobody wants to see me for an hour. Cycling, bike, sweat. So, what's next? Today's Tuesday. Wednesday morning, Tumei has a 5 a.m. ride. Come out for that. Hit Tumei up, messenger. Follow her. Get an invite. That's how it works. Wednesday night, 6:30. Irvin has a ride. Same thing. 
any of these ride leaders, hit them up, follow them on, on, on Twitter, and then message them to get an invite for the ride. Thursday morning, Lane Christopher has a ride, 5 a.m. Thursday night, I have another ride, 6.30. Friday morning, Crystal has a ride, 5 a.m. Saturday and Sunday morning is at 7. Bob Lawler throwing down with some crazy routes. That ride is anywhere from an hour to two hours. If you only got 30 minutes to show up for these rides, show up, hang out, get in 30 minutes of work, then head out. Not a problem. Come Saturday, if it ends up being a two-hour ride, totally. But you can only hang out for the first hour. Then so be it. I wouldn't even pay any attention. I assume that we're sprinting. Something about a sprint. And then the cycle starts over. Monday morning, brand new ride. I think that was at six. Brenda's doing it. That's new. Brand new. We got rides every morning, seven days a week. I might try to sneak in a Friday night ride at this point. Can't go nowhere. Can't go nowhere on Friday nights. So might as well ride, right? Irvin's telling everybody good job. Thank you, E. Appreciate you, bro. I don't know why my guy just took off. No clue. No idea what's going on. It's a game. So, like all games, it does weird stuff at times. I hope this was enjoyable. I hope it was somewhat informative. It was definitely awkward. Definitely got a little weird. This will be my first full stream of an entire ride. Now watch. <laughs> I'm gonna go back and check this video. There's going to be no audio. <laughs> There's going to be no audio at all. <laughs> My rear derailleur is messing up. I have some cable stretch things with the rod. Sean. Huh. Cable stretch. This is a completely mechanical bike. No electronic components. But I hear that if you have electronic shifting, the cool kids say there is no cable stretch. At least that's what they said. See if I can spell. Thanks all for showing up and showing out. I'm supposed to be chilling, not filming 300 watts. Slow down. My man Irvin. Big thanks to Irvin. Makes a lot of this stuff possible. Got some just solid guys and some solid folks in the uh, in the club making things happen. Is it uh, seven or eight ride leaders now for Swift rides? This is crazy. Blowing up. Doing two days, 
try to do at 5 a.m. in the morning. Then I try to do it in the evening. When I did that for like all of January, on average, I slept about five hours a night. It was tough. Uh, not maintainable. Not at all. I need my seven to seven and a half hours worth of sleep. But bad things happen. I didn't get sick, but uh, definitely went to work yawning a lot, a lot, a whole lot. A little over four minutes left. Um, so the stream, like I said, when I started this whole thing. <sighs> On this side, I have a monitor with Swift running on it. So you can see me look to the to my left, I'm looking at Swift. I'm looking over here, and I'm looking down like this. I'm looking at my screen that's running the uh, streaming software, I'm checking to make sure everything is still working, things are streaming, and it all looks good. At some point, I'll stop checking that stuff because I'll have faith that I know what I'm doing at some point. Maybe. Let's see. The computer I'm using to do this is good. I'm looking at the performance. I'm gonna get nerdy for a second. CPU's at 35%. Only half the memory is being used. My disk is less than 1%. Ethernet is connected. I tried doing this while streaming um, over Wi Fi. That didn't work at all. Didn't have the bandwidth to do this. And I think that was part of my problem the last couple of days. It was a Wi Fi setup. There's two light boxes on either side for the light. Otherwise, the lighting in this room. Really orange. It's very yellowy orange. It looks terrible. A backdrop is the banner, the Major Taylor banner. If you got any suggestions, comments, complaints? If you got any complaints, send them to Earth. He's real patient with complaints. Comments or suggestions, I'll take them. I'll take those. Now, seriously, if there's anything that you think could be better about this, you want to see something different. One of the big things that I would love to do, would love to do, is I would love to have another person remoted in with me. So they'd be at home. I'd have them on Skype, we'll hang out, Zoom, something, it doesn't matter. And I'd be on one side, they'd be on the other side, and we would be able to converse and talk and I don't know, it's just a thought. I'd see if I can try to make that happen. See if I can convince somebody to, to get on this with me. This thing's live. If I sneeze, it's not coming out of my nose. This live, I can't take it back. This is intimidating, I'm not gonna lie. Just, uh, there's, no, there's no takes, there's no retakes, there's no nothing. All right, so there's a minute left. As a ride leader, I've already told, told everybody good job. Everything's good, see you next time. This is great. It's a beautiful thing. We need to get ready for that final picture. Thirty-five seconds, another thirty points. About thirty seconds, the ride's gonna end, and the stats are gonna come up for the ride. I usually try to catch that. That's it.
see if I can snap this picture. There it is. Boom. Got it. That's it. We're going to wrap this up. 16.2 miles, about 50 to climb in an hour. Uh, major city of Texas of Chicago has been great. Hanging out with you all on behalf of 16 riders. Got it in for the night. We do this every single day, every morning, most evenings, Monday through Thursday. Come join us sometimes. Peace.